Hi, Taurus. Welcome back. This is your September 9 to 10 reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Northern. So we're going to see what the energy is surrounding you at the time or the energy that you're in at this time for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, the 9th and 10th of September, please. 9th and 10th of September, please, for Scorpio. Okay. We have moving on. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then we have triumph. And then what fell out was uh, foundation and achievement. So there's going to be some kind of uh, foundations and achievement moving forward here, tri being triumphant. Yeah, the world. Okay. And spiritual strength. Yeah, there's been there's been a close out here. There's been a cycle, a deep transformation that you're going through or that you've went through. And, um, yeah, emotional withdrawal. And you've pulled your energy, saved, stand your ground away from everybody. You have boundaries up, yeah, so that you can work on yourself. There's things that you're working on within yourself, changes that you need to make here. This could also be moving on from a situation, literally. Moving on, six of swords energy. And this could also be your guide. You're being guided to move forward, to heal, to move on from a situation or someone, something or whatever. Maybe it's certain addictions. It could be actually be a person, but whatever it is, okay, you're moving forward from. All right. So forward movement. There's going to be triumph and success in whatever this is you're trying to move forward because of some kind of completion or the closing out of a cycle or something like that. What is this? messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for Taurus. Yeah, the judgment, some kind of awakening. All right. So um, there's definitely some kind of awakening on. Maybe you're moving on from the arguing, the fighting. I see two kids here that are very sad, always depressed or out. They're, they always see you guys arguing and fighting. There could be weapons involved, the, the throwing of stuff. Just something is just really hectic, okay? Um, yeah, something is really hectic here. There seems to be... A lot going on here. Yet something about a child here, a young air sign child, possibly a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius could be significant here. But I feel like these two children are very much affected by this argument, fighting, petty shit, mind games. There's fear here. Somebody could actually get hurt. Okay, here, but yeah, the judgment. So there's be, there's being a call. There's there's someone's being called. Red nails could be significant here, but somebody is being called red hair or both. Okay, but somebody here um, is definitely being called to uh, release the situation here. This is making a final call to move on, a final judgment to move on. You can't do this anymore. I feel like as soon as you do, you're going to be triumphant. Your life is going to change in, in, in different ways. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, something about a Libra child here. And the Three of Swords, yeah, a Libra. Okay, but anyways, we have the Page of Swords, the Queen of Swords. The Three of Swords and the Knight of Wands. I just feel like somebody has their boundaries up here. Somebody's just dead. They're, 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 something is over. Something has ended. Something is over. It's just not working anymore. Or, or, or somebody's being called to go in a different direction. What's the Judgment card with the Five of Swords? All right. Yeah, the King of Swords. There we go. And I saw the Queen of Swords there. So there is, yeah, the Knight of Swords, okay, at the bottom of the deck. So there's an energy of this impulsiveness where somebody could be very impulsive, quick-tempered. There's an energy of, like, kind of growing up. There could be some kind of counseling or something that could be taking place here or someone's being called to do this. Someone could be a public speaker of some sort, very intelligent, very maybe in the military, but whatever this is or in the corporate world, somebody's very, very skilled at what they do here. All right, very, very skilled. Yeah, the Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords, and then we saw the Knight of Wands. So so there's an energy of just kind of growing up. This, The King to the Queen of Swords could be two people that are very much in a relationship, 
Okay, it could be a match, a divine counterparts, but it could also be two people who do not get along very well. There's a lot of mind games, one-upping, bickering, back and forth, not able to come to a resolution. It's just always some kind of bullshit going on here. A lot of yelling and screaming. I'm getting whatever this yelling and screaming is that you're doing here, Taurus, it's really affecting the children, okay? The children are speaking out really loudly here, and it's ve they're very much being affected by this energy that is here. I feel like it's a very volatile and hostile situation that you're in. And with the Six of Swords, the moving on card, it's time to move on. You will be triumphant. You have nothing to worry about. Yeah, the world, a cycle is over. It's time to clear something out. Spiritual strength. You're coming into, you're going through some kind of awakening or spiritual healing here. Or this is the person you're dealing with. Yeah, emotional withdrawal and pulling your emotions away from something. That's the Eight of Cups, walking away. Something no longer fulfills you. And you just don't, you just don't want to deal or somebody else doesn't. So you pick what side this you're on. But I feel like, uh, um, let's see. I'm getting something about like a board meeting or something too. Yeah, the four swords, being at peace. I just feel like um, you just want to be at peace. And I feel like it's not because we're going from the five of swords, which is very jealous, hate, competition, bickering, back and forth, endless battle of wits, um, jealousy, anger, very volatile to just being at four swords is being at peace, being at peace with the situation, being at peace with walking away, being at peace with letting somebody go. Or this is somebody that's dealing with you. Yeah, the devil could be a Capricorn and the Empress that is pregnant. There could be a Capricorn here that's pregnant. Somebody could be about to have this baby. They're pretty, they're pretty big here. This could be a photo shoot as well. Yeah, but the Empress, the devil, I feel like somebody here is setting boundaries. Okay, yeah, because I feel like two people lay in bed together and they don't even talk. They turned over on their phones. There's no intimacy, no connection, no nothing. I feel like two people are in a connection simply because for, for the sake of it. I don't even see love here. The king to the queen of swords, they lack love. It's just more logical or practical, okay? It's not so much about love or because there's kids, two kids involved plus another baby, obviously with the empress here. So this could be a Libra or a Capricorn that's pregnant, okay? Yeah, the, yeah somebody's definitely pregnant and I, I feel like they're about to have their baby, actually. All right. But I just feel like there's an energy. Yeah, there's that Queen of Swords. I told you. Somebody here is very, the king to the Queen of Swords. Very volatile. A connection indeed, but a very volatile situation. Somebody here could be very dark too. You see how all this dark energy is covering this person? This could be a Capricorn or it could be somebody, a Capricorn with air highly aspected in their chart. Or this is you. But somebody is very, very dark here. A lot of dark energy. Somebody could can be consumed. Now, this person may not come off like that, but they but there is a lot of dark energy around this person. What's the key to yeah? There's there's a lack of intimacy here. Five of Pentacles, a lack of intimate intimacy as well as attraction is what I'm getting. But I feel like somebody is pregnant or something like that. All right, yeah, somebody's trapped in a pregnancy or a marriage or whatever. Or they feel like they are. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay. So so there's some offer being here in our apology. Yeah, the Six of Wands. And the King of Cups. And the Strength. What's the Knight of Cups? What's the Knight of Cups have in his hand? Because there, I saw the High Priestess. So there could be a mistress here. Somebody outside the relationship. Yeah. The Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is somebody got caught juggling or they have a mistress or somebody thought that they was juggling shit, but they dropped the goddamn ball. Okay, you have the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. There's definitely impulsive energy, cheating, somebody sneaking in the house, in the window, or doing something like that. I'm also getting like somebody's on their phone. Somebody could be could be laughing or talking on their phone. There's somebody like secretly trying to see what you're talking about, laughing about. They're sneaking up behind the couch behind you as they walk past or looking in your phone trying to see what you're doing. Because I'm getting like somebody has multiple people here. There's a very, there's an insta instability here. Something is very unstable. Something is very like out of whack. It's just not balanced. One second, someone's sweet and loving and caring. And the next, they're mad and angry and hateful and, and, and fucking, you know, going crazy. What's the two of pentacles in the reverse? 
Somebody's offering you instability. I asked what the Knight of Cups has, and it's the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the Page of Cups. They, they, all they have to offer you is a fucking stank-ass fish in a cup. Someone is very and childish, very immature. Somebody does not want to offer more. This King of Swords is going down to the Knight of fucking Cups and, and the Knight of Swords. You feel me? So impulsive behavior. Somebody cheats. They don't give a fuck. They'll sneak in. They'll do whatever they have to. They, somebody has like blatant disrespect here. But there is going to be some kind of spiritual. Either you or the person you're dealing with is going to go through some kind of spiritual awakening where they move on with their life. I feel like there's a younger water sign that somebody could be interested in. There is love or, or offer here. But something is very unbalanced about that as well. Yeah, I told you the world. Something is going to be closed out here. And you have the world here as well. So I'm getting a double completion of I'm saying I'm getting something is complete. Yep, ten of swords, divorce. There has been too many betrayals here, too much bullshit. I feel like somebody loved someone. Yeah, the, ooh, God. Yeah, the death. This is over. A marriage, a home family situation. Yep, the five of wands. We're going from the four to the five. Someone's packing up their shit, their clothes, their home or whatever. And someone's moving. Now, somebody does not want to do this anymore, especially if they're pregnant. That's already a lot. Yeah, I feel like there's children involved as well. The kids are tired. The kids are suffering. Whoever is in this, these kids are suffering. Put your fucking kids first. Not no, not no shit like this. I don't give a fuck if it's a marriage or not. Your kids are sitting here suffering, hearing this argument, fighting, yelling and shit, going back and forth. These two young ass kids. They hide under the table so there could be shit that's being thrown or you're fussing and throwing shit at each other. They have to go cover a duck and cover because you, you motherfuckers is going crazy. Yeah. I feel like somebody showed a lot of unconditional love. Somebody was like in love. Somebody wanted to support somebody, be there for them. But it's just not working. You know why? Because the world is here twice. It's over. When the universe says something is over, it's over. You trying to hold on to it and, 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 and do all this. You're only damaging and hurting yourself. It's never going to change because it's not meant to. You can try to force it, but you're going to be miserable. Nothing is going to change. This is just not. The death in the world is major or conscious. It's over. We have Scorpio energy here. Could be a Capricorn or a Libran or another Taurus or whatever the fuck. Yeah, the devil. You understand? And the empress. Yeah, there it is. We have addictions here. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, yeah, I feel like somebody has a lot of addictions here. You're closing this out. Somebody's very obsessive or whatever. And we have the empress here. Yeah, Capricorn that's pregnant. Okay, but I feel like you're setting boundaries here. Yeah, you're, yeah, the two of swords, you're indifferent or you don't care or something's at a stalemate. I can, two people laying in bed. Yeah, there's going to be a breakup. Two of swords to the three of swords is here. It's over. Yeah, the knight of wands because somebody cannot control themselves. Somebody likes attention. They like to go to go fuck or have fun or have multiple uh, options. They don't care about family, pregnancy. They don't give a fuck about shit. Somebody could even got somebody pregnant outside the marriage. You may be finding out about that. Yeah, this is a loss. A lot of breakup, heartbreak, and loss here to a family. Somebody really wanted a family. Somebody really wanted this. But I feel like there's going to be a breakdown in this family. Something is going to fall. Something can no longer stand. It just cannot. This family dynamic, this, this pretending to be happy or whatever this is. Five of Cups and Three of Swords is heartbreak, sadness, and loss. It's an emptiness. It's so, so much, so many betrayals has, has occurred in this relationship, man. The king to the queen of swords. That's like, I don't know. And then there's children involved here as well. So this is like, yeah, I feel like somebody's, yeah, the eight of swords. But I feel like there's an energy of feeling stuck or trapped or not able to move on. But there's something new. Ace of wands. Wow. Ace of wands is here. Finding something new, doing something new. Yeah, nine of pentacles. You're going to discover that you're that you're going to be happy single. You're going from being a mother or pregnant with kids to being single. Okay? Living on your own. You're actually going to be happy even as a single mother. Yeah, the ace of swords. Look at all this newness coming in for you as you release this. As you practice self-love. Maybe you need to start on something creative. Maybe you like art, to do art. Maybe you never got to really fulfill your dreams and wishes because you were putting so much into this connection. But I feel like now's the time to put it into you. 
Now it's time to start something for you. You have given your all and put so much into something else. Yeah, nine of cups. Something is going to be a wish fulfillment. This new person. Somebody could be meeting somebody. This could be great sex. I also feel like somebody feels stuck in a pregnancy or trapped in this pregnancy that they don't want or whatever the fuck. Yeah, now somebody's worried. Nine of swords because you're moving forward or you met somebody new. If this hasn't happened already, it's going to happen or it did. Okay. But now you're, you're self-love. Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups, okay? You're, you're moving on. You're, 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 you have the self-love. You're, you're working on you. You're working on what it is you want, what makes you happy. Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups, and now somebody shook. I feel like you're going, if, you, if you've been planning to create something, begin something, invent something, it's going to be very, very successful here for you. You're going to, you're going to really... You're going to really enjoy this here. Okay? Yeah, the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, there's somebody fiery coming in here. Yeah. King of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Look at you being confident and self-sufficient, being alone, being by yourself, getting your wishes. Yeah, Nine, Nine. This is completion. And then we have the King of Pentacles. So you, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. So you could have several people here. This king of pentacles you're married to is focused on fucking everybody. And then here you are, um, single, self-sufficient, and you working on you and, be, and doing you is going to bring somebody in here, bring somebody new in here for you. I'm also getting somebody could be leaving one situation and jumping straight into another one. Okay, yeah, the ace of cups, there's a new love here. Okay, and this is your justice for all the betrayal and heartache and pain that you had to go through with this person. Libra energy, Capricorn, very heavy Libra, Capricorn energy here. Could be another Taurus like yourself. Okay, could be any um damn sign. But you're going to get justice. You're going to get someone that is going to commit to you, love you, and appreciate you. Because this person cannot. And this is going to be this person's loss. You can stay in this as long as the fuck you want to. And it's going to get more and more miserable for you, your kids, and the baby that you're pregnant with. Yeah, the page of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, this is a loss of money of or or uh, endeavor or um a loss of a job. This is also a child that's very much suffering or two children. That is with the that that I see right here in this this card, two children that is very much suffering. Yeah, the eight of cups. It's just it's 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 like. Money here. Somebody could be very selfish when it comes to money. Somebody may know you need more support. They're not willing to give it to you or any of that. Yeah, the page of pentacles, page of wands, and page of swords. So there's three kids here. Okay. This a third child could be a baby on the way, but there I definitely see two here that are born. Okay. Because the page of cups, page of pentacles, this could be two girls, but it doesn't have to be. Or there could be a boy involved or something like that. But it, um, anyways, I just feel like you feel like something is a loss. And although you move forward, I feel like this is very hard for you to do. But somebody lacks integrity. Somebody, um, somebody behaves like they're single and they're not. Okay. Somebody just doesn't care or you don't. And yeah, the Three of Cups, third party situation. Somebody likes brothels, prostitutes, strips, clubs. Yep, Knight of Wands. Yep. Three of Cups, Knight of Wands. Somebody's very promiscuous. This could even be somebody, this could be a, a sexually transmitted disease as well that you are going to con contract, you already have, or you're going to in the future. So you need to be very careful of sleeping with this person because they are reckless. I just feel our true reckless energy here. It's time to move on with your with your energy because this is the energy deck. Literally, it's moving on. That's what you need to do, Taurus, or this is what this person needs to do with your ass. All right. So this is your messages. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.